Hi, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial I will show you how to export vector artwork from Adobe Fresco and import it into Illustrator. So let's open up Adobe Fresco. So here in Adobe Fresco I have some artwork drawn on separate layers. To export it I click on the little share symbol, publish and export, export as and in the format I will select PDF. Hit export and I will just airdrop it to my MacBook. So let's open up the PDF in Illustrator. We'll just locate it on my desktop and hit open. Normally what I do is to create a new document that is an AI document and copy my artwork from the PDF to my new document. This is just to make sure that there aren't any issues with the exported PDF and also that I usually work in AI document and not PDFs. So I will just paste my artwork, make it a little bit larger so that you can see. And if you select everything, you can see that there are these invisible frames around your artwork. And that's because you've drawn it on separate layers. So if I, for example, will click and drag on something, all of the artwork that was on that layer will be grouped together. So in the export from Fresco to Illustrator, there's usually a clipping mask made. So I go to Object, Clipping Mask and Release. And if you select the different objects, you can now see that they are separated from each other, no matter what layer they were on. Although you still have those invisible frames that you need to delete. So I go to View, Outline, and then I just click on the invisible frames and delete those. I might want to delete the background as well. Go to View Preview, and here you have all of the vector objects exported from Adobe Fresco, ready to be used in Adobe Illustrator. And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more from me, check out my Skillshare classes. There's a link here below the video to all of my classes. If you're not a member on Skillshare yet, you will get two months of free premium membership by clicking the link below. You can also head over to Instagram to say hello at Maya Faber. And if you like this video, hit subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss out on my future tutorials.